Hi guys, my name is Misha James Sisnet and I'm a medical doctor. Uh, the purpose of this channel is just to, to catalog my life as I try to become an oral maxillofacial surgeon. So let me just give you a little bit of background about myself. Well, I started out at the University of the West Indies here in the Caribbean where I pursued a degree, an MBBS degree or uh, Bachelor's of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery degree. So I'm actually a medical doctor. Uh, during my medical school career, I knew I wanted to be a surgeon from very, very, very early. And I decided that what I would do when I left medical school, well, I went through a whole series of, 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 um, of career possibilities as a, because I wanted to be a surgeon, but I didn't really know which type at first. Uh, originally it was neurosurgery, then it switched to orthopedics, then it switched to oral and maxillofacial surgery. Uh, during medical school, however, I had an interest in oral and maxillofacial surgery. However, coming from a medical background, it was, it was a bit challenging because I knew that once I finished uh, medical school, I would have to go back to dental school because here in the Caribbean, we actually do things via the, the British way. So while in America, they do it differently. They start from a dental degree, then they do their six years training program. And then afterwards, they actually go on and gain an MD within the program while here in the Caribbean you have to do med or in England you have to do the medical degree dental degree most people come from a dental background so they do dentistry then they do medicine uh, so I had an interest in it and I went and I questioned someone who was in where I was studying which was in Trinidad I questioned that person about how it would, they would go about you know if somebody like me coming from a, a medical background how they would go about doing this specialty it was interesting because how they adv advised me was they said, well, you know, you have to do the dental degree. It's challenging. Some, and in some instances, you might even have to go and do the full five years back over. So that kind of discouraged me a bit. But it was if the person was very genuine in what they said to me. They said, well, you know, that's just how you have to do it. They said if they had life to live back over, because they were coming from the NHS or the UK system, they said if they had life to live, do back over, they would actually do it via the US route because it was cheaper. Because it's and short as well, too. So I left medical school, did my internship in Tobago, then I did my internship in part of it in Tobago and part of it in Trinidad. And I left there, got married, and I moved to Jamaica, where I started to pursue my my then chosen specialty of orthopedics. Somewhere along the line, I got a little discouraged from the orthopedic route, and I decided to just take a step back and figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And so I started to work in primary care here in the Caribbean, in Jamaica. Well, I'm actually not in Jamaica right now. I'm actually in, in Bradford, um, the United Kingdom, because I came to do an exam. Well, I'm getting to that just now. So during my internship, I actually pursued uh, studying, trying to, to get the MRCS exam, which is a membership of the Royal College of Surgery examination, which allows you to, to enter higher education here in the UK or in the Caribbean. I did the first part in 2014, however, I wasn't successful, so I actually st stopped that completely and, and went away from doing that degree and started a new, a new path, which I was trying to get into the U.S. Uh, somewhere along the lines of trying to apply for a U.S. visa, I got turned on for a visa because of something they said that my ties to the United States weren't strong, it wasn't strong enough, so I said, not the United States, my ties to Trinidad weren't strong enough, so... They said that I wouldn't be allowed to go into the country. So that just turned me off from US Assembly on a whole. So I stopped that, started back again with the MRCS. Then I stopped MRCS and jumped back to US Assembly again. So it was just a back and forth because I just didn't realize what I wanted to do. So 2014 to 2015, I did my, my senior house officer year in, in, um, in oral and not oral, in orthopedics as well as cardiothoracic surgery, those two things. And then I did uh, three months in primary care, which is how they organize it here. You have to do three month blocks of degrees. Did those did those years, then I got into the orthopedic program and I was in the orthopedic program for about six call it eight months. Um after that I just knew that this wasn't for me. So I left the orthopedic program, I'm currently working in primary care. Um it was interesting it, well, I got a lot of ex surgical experience while in the orthopedic program. So I, I, I've rotated through general surgery, urology, 
as well as um, cardiothoracic and orthopedics, as I mentioned before. And you get a lot of surgical experience. But I just know, and I have known for quite some time, since while working in primary care, which I've been working in for about 10 months, no, actually a year, a year, a year this month, I said to myself, I knew that primary care wasn't for me. You learn a lot, but I just know it's not for me. During this time, uh, the oral and maxillofacial root came back into my brain again for some reason. I don't know. Just lying down one day and then something just came up, came into my mind. I said, well, you know, why don't you try oral and maxillofacial surgery? Once again, it's a very long route. There's a very long route to go to becoming an oral and maxillofacial surgery, one. And two, the finances to support, well, a family as well as to pursue this dental degree is, is challenging. So, I've actually applied now to go and do a dental degree. Truthfully, um, I'm actually applying also more, also right now for other modes of employment so that when I'm at dental school between 8 and 4, I can come off of work and work between 4 and, and 12 o'clock any night or so and try to supplement my income and afford this, this second degree. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it just yet. <laughs> might sound kind of weird to just dive right in but I, I'm not one of those people that kind of sits on an idea and then you sit on it and then 10 years down the road you haven't pursued that 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 endeavor but it's a risk but I think it's worth it and I know that I'm going to try my best to be a surgeon a, a very good surgeon and I hope you all enjoy this channel <laughs>